5G has the potential to ping Britain into the future. But what is it? Why is everyone talking about it? And should the UK be using it? Essentially, 5G is super fast mobile internet. Think of the data your phone uses and then imagine it far faster and much less likely to disappear when you're at a music festival. The reason it could be so revolutionary is because businesses and new technology will be able to rely on it. There's no reason why we shouldn't have technological progress here in the UK. Here's an example. Some groups say 5G is the only way to make driverless cars a reality. So according to them, if future you wants to commute in a driverless car, you're going to need 5G. I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the prospect. Let's compare how a driverless car might work with 5G and with 4G, which is what we currently use. 5G works in near real time. There's no lag. So cars heading down the same road would be able to coordinate their exact speeds and positions as they go. That means that if the car in front suddenly swerves, your car could swerve too and avoid a crash. In a 4G world, there may be a lag, even if it's small. And in this scenario, you can't afford a lag. The difference between swerving immediately and swerving a few seconds late could be fatal. 5G's potential isn't just about speed. It can also do things like facilitating platooning, which essentially means it can make different objects work together. It also has more capacity, so in a packed out crowd of people, everyone will be able to go online. The problem is 5G also has the potential for harm. There are two worries that people are talking about. The first is that it's been created by a Chinese company called Huawei. Huawei's involvement in building our 5G network will require concrete assurances about the integrity and safety of the network. They're controversial because people accuse them of spying for the Chinese government. Some experts worry they may build back doors into the technology that would give China access to the world's 5G infrastructure. We need to become more cyber resilient. The idea is not keeping the bad guys out, keeping the good guys in. It's about how do we act in this day and age with technology advancements to make sure that we're mitigating the risks. The UK government has decided to involve them in the country's 5G anyway, but to limit their role. For example, Huawei will be excluded from sensitive areas, such as nuclear sites and military bases. The company has a big presence in the UK's tech infrastructure already, and the intelligence agencies believe Huawei presents a manageable risk. This isn't necessarily what the public wants. Only 14% of Brits agree with the UK using Huawei to build 5G infrastructure. The second worry is about health. Even though the government and experts say 5G will have no impact on health, some campaigning groups are concerned it may increase the risk of cancer. 5G is already in use across the UK, but we're yet to see the full potential of the technology and the impact it could have.